Support for Studio One is provided by Ed Hill at HVAC Incorporated in Bristol. HVAC offers heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and solar energy services to commercial and industrial clients in the Tri-Cities and Asheville. HVACBristol.com. This session is for Saturday, October 28th, 2017. I'm Dave Carter, your host, and Mr. Mike Strickland, our studio engineer. This session is uh, once again welcoming the 12-member a cappella vocal group from East Tennessee State University, Grayscale, under the direction of Mr. Alan Stevens. Welcome, Alan. Oh, thanks for having us again. Absolutely. We've got a few changes in the uh, roster this time around. Yeah, I think we're actually, I think Megan is the only one who was here last time. Yes, and there's so. been alterations in her life. She's. I know. Yeah. She's Megan Brister now. She got married. So. Yeah, well, congratulations. Thank you. We're all happy for her, aren't we? Yes. 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 <laughs> uh, we're going to have an hour of the wonderful uh, vocalizations. Uh, we got, I assume, uh, all a bunch of new stuff. Mm-hmm. Some, a little, a few, few repeats, but uh, we're excited to do it. So, and it's kind of a preliminary little taste, a little sampling of what you will get to hear if you attend Luminosity. Uh, Saturday, November 18th at the Culp Center at ETSU. Big concert night for this group that you do not want to miss. And I think after you hear this session uh, today on Studio One, uh, you will mark it on your calendar. Uh, how are we going to begin, Alan? We're, we're going to flip Grayscale on its head here for a second. We're going to actually open today with the piece we usually close with. So this is uh, Grayscale's signature piece, Dynamite. I think the most things, things, things. I hit the floor cause that's my plans, 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 plans. I'm wearing all of my favorite friends, 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 friends. So give me space for both my hands, 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 hands. Yeah, yeah, and it goes on and on and on. And it goes on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. I throw my hands up in the air sometimes.
smile on my face. Uh, who's, who is our soloist there? That was Rachel Gardner. She's a freshman. Ah, Rachel, uh, take the handheld back, and I want you to um, go around the room and uh, give each person an opportunity to tell us uh, uh, their name and uh, what part they sing and where they're from. My name is Coleman Lowry. I am a bass slash baritone, and I am from Hillsville, Virginia. I'm Autumn Brockelman. I am an alto, and I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm Mark Shelton. I'm a tenor, and I'm from Churchill, Tennessee. I am Megan Brister. I'm a soprano, and I'm from Asheville, North Carolina. My name is Trevor Henley. I'm a bass, and I'm from Limestone, Tennessee. He doesn't really need to tell you he's a bass. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Caitlin Hopkins. I'm an alto slash vocal percussionist, and I'm from Morristown, Tennessee. I'm Isaiah Bishop. I'm a tenor one, and I'm from Kingsport, Tennessee. I'm Hannah Lawson. I'm a soprano, and I'm also from Kingsport, Tennessee. I'm Luke Phillips. I'm a baritone, and I'm from Morristown, Tennessee. I'm Brady Polson. I'm an alto, and I'm from Sigournsville, Tennessee. I'm Will Irvin. I'm a baritone slash bass sometimes slash tenor sometimes, <laughs> and uh, I'm from Limestone, Tennessee. I'm Rachel Gardner, and I'm a soprano, and I'm from Jonesboro. Thank you so, so very much. Now that we have uh, that out of the way, um, welcome everyone to this live session, and uh, it's just a joy to have you back. And uh, yes, that first number always puts a, saw, a smile on my face in anticipation of what we're going to hear next, uh, which is... Um, so this, this next piece is actually, it's an original. Um, it's written by one of our former members, Mason Barnett, who was in the group for three and a half years. Ah. Um, and Mayton, he's really taken on the role kind of as assistant director now. He uh, helps me out quite a bit. And this is an original piece called Turn Back the Clock. We had a good thing going. Where did it go? Oh, I still need you, baby. Way down in my soul. Don't say never, cause never can wait. Let's just see how far we can go. Why not? How could I act so crazy? I was a fool, I said our mind was hazy. But you overrule, keep me steady. And I'll do the same, the key to love is sharing the lens. Baby, let's turn the clock back, not back a few angry minutes. Can I get a witness? I'm witness. When you Very nice. Very, very, very nice. You're listening to this live session in Studio One on WETS HD1 and 89.5 WETS FM. Um, oh, we've got a, a new soloist out front. And what's your name? I'm Hannah Lawson. That's right. Hannah Lawson. <laughs> and uh, what are we going to hear? We're going to do a piece by Ellie Golding arranged by Ben Brom. It's called I Need Your Love. Excellent. Da, da, da. I need your love, I need your time When everything's wrong, you 
make it right I feel so high I come alive I need to be free with you tonight I need your love I need your love I take a deep breath every time I pass your door But I never figure out what I mean to you. Do I belong? I try to fight this, but I know I'm not that strong. And I feel so helpless here. Watch my eyes are filled with fear. Tell me, do you feel the same? Hold me in your arms again. Fantastic. What a beautiful voice you have. Thank you. You're very welcome. And uh, uh, was that Will on, uh, no, what's your name? Coleman. 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 Coleman Lowry on the beatbox there. Mm -hmm. And he's just handed back to uh, Caitlin or K-Hop. Uh, is, that, is that hard to do? Was the, is that something you've always fooled around with as a kid doing vocal percussion stuff? Or? Well, I was in sixth grade and my friend was walking around the halls and he was doing it. And I was like, show me how to do that. And so I just, I've been doing it ever since then. Well, you got some neat chops, you, 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 some neat sounds, or uh, I don't know what you call that. Or some when sick beats. The, you sick? <laughs> beats. Yes. Very well put. Um, all right, Grayscale, what are we going to hear next, Alan? Hey, uh, Dave, I wanted to say something about that last piece. So that's actually, that's Grayscale fans, if you're, if you're a true Grayscale fan, you'll recognize that. That's the first track on our first album, Grayscale. Ah. Uh, that we released in 2015. And we pulled that back out again because it's arranged by a guy named um, Ben Bram, which Hannah was talking about. And he's going to be visiting us in March. He's going to be at ETSU March 23rd and 24th for our second annual Buck Appella Festival. It's an acapella festival we started last year, and we're really excited. To, and what's the dates um, on that again? March 23rd and 24th. Uh -huh. And Ben is actually the co-founder, producer, and arranger behind the Pentatonix. Arranger, yeah, he's the arra the the arranger. He arranges <laughs> pieces like um, the ones we just hear heard. Yeah. So uh, he's really the brains behind the Pentatonix, and we're super excited that he's going to be here to work with us and uh, and all the acapella groups here on campus. Man, that's going to be a neat night. Yeah, we're excited. Is that going to be at Culp? It is. Yep, Culp Auditorium. 
so, uh, which is a room I find to be very good for music. Uh, do you like it up there? Uh, I, I, I kind of. <laughs> <laughs> I think it works better for instrumental music than vocal music, yeah. but we're we're amplified usually in there, so it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's not great for unamplified voices. But. What room have you found around here as uh, the band, uh, the group has performed to be excellent? You have you found any place that says, "Wow, this is excellent acoustics for this." Well, I mean, it's a little different because we're usually, we usually perform one on a mic, so everything's amplified. Yeah. And if you have the right equalization and you have the right equipment, you can, you can make most rooms sound pretty decent. Mm -hmm. As far as live sound, um, live vocal sound, I'm, I'm hoping this new building yes. makes that happen. The Performing Arts Center, we all have high hopes that yeah. they put a lot of uh, acoustic integrity yeah. in there as, the, as they should. <laughs> I yes. mean, you know, that should be a foregone conclusion. We shall see. We'll see what happens. Uh huh. Um, well, we have time for one more before we take a break. All right, let's do a little Beatles. <laughs> let's. Da, da, da. Da. Filter, he said. 
Excellent. Excellent. You're hearing it live as it happens on Studio One on WETS. We'll take a short break and be back with more right after this. Hi, this is Helen Forster from E-Town. We have a couple of eclectic and vibrant singer-songwriters with us this week, Andrew Bird and Leif Volabeck. Plus, iconic natural products entrepreneur Tom Chappell, formerly of Toms of Maine, speaks to us about sustainability and business. This week in E-Town. Saturday afternoons at 2, here on WETS-FM. And HD1. Support for Studio One comes from the Acoustic Coffee House in Johnson City. Locally owned, the Acoustic Coffee House serves up live music, homemade food, craft beer, fresh roasted coffee to fans of all ages in a smoke free venue. AcousticCoffeeHouse.net. Wish I had held her longer. Wish I had held her longer. Drew Holcomb and the neighbors join us on Mountain Stage this week along with Peter Mulvey, Andrew Combs, Christian Lopez, and the Lost Bayou Ramblers. Hi, this is Drew Holcomb. Join me this week in live performance on Mountain Stage. Mountain Stage comes your way 6 p.m. Saturday evenings right here on listener-supported public radio WETS-FM and HD1. Okay, tonight at the Carter Family Fold up in Hilton's, it's the Jeff Little Trio. Next weekend, uh, Friday, November 3rd, and Saturday, November the 4th, it's the uh, 43rd annual Carter Family Festival with um, Carson Peters and Iron Mountain, Larry Sigmund and Martha Spencer, uh, White Top Mountain Band, Lori Carter Bennett, Ronnie Williams, Eugene Wolf are all going to be there next weekend at the... Uh, 43rd Annual Carter Family Memorial Music Festival in Hilton's. Tonight at the Acoustic Coffee House, Walnut Street in Johnson City, the Rhythm Brewers. Tomorrow on Sunday, the 29th, Jason uh, Deeser Jazz Duo. That's Jason Deesler Jazz Duo and Butch Ross. Let's see. Tonight at uh, in Greenville at the Nicewanger is uh, St. Paul and the Broken Bones. Coming up at the Paramount on State Street in Bristol. You have uh, November the 10th, uh, 1964, The Tribute. November the 11th, Corey Smith. And November 30th, uh, comedian Paul Harris and The Cleverlies. And don't forget Annie, Theater Bristol's production of Annie, November 17th through 26th at the Paramount. Looking around town, field notes with Hall at Capone's Farmhouse Ghost at O'Manan's Pub. Live music up at the Bonefire Smokehouse on Main Street in Abingdon. Bill Kirchen at the Down Home. Billy Crawford at the Holiday Inn. Wild Heart at Country Club Bar and Grill. Rhythm Review at Bristol Station Brews and Tap Room. Rock and Roll Freak Show at Woodstone Deli. Tomorrow on Sunday, Melissa Reeves at the Willow Tree Coffee House and Music Room, along with the Camel City Collective, live music at the Bonefire. And on Tuesday, October 31st, Halloween, we have uh, the Bosses at the Willow Tree Coffee House and Music Room. Just scratching the service there of, of what's available. Go out and support live music whenever and wherever you can. Thank you so much for that beautiful accompaniment. Did that have a name to it? Uh, that's a, it's a piece called <coughs> Yun Yun. It's by a composer named Jake Runstead. Uh, we'll do it here a little bit later, the whole piece, but it's, yeah. it's actually a nonsense piece. There are no words, but it's all about the exploration of what the human voice can do. Yeah. You know, that's what I like about scat. Uh, uh, Megan did a nice little uh, scat solo there, and... Uh, of, uh, I don't know if it was Louis Armstrong who invented scat, or maybe it was Ella Fitzgerald, or somebody back there first came up with the idea. I, I suspect it was when somebody forgot lyrics and had to fill it, <laughs> fill it in. And yeah. so they just made something up, put it there, and that's cool. That's jazz. Man, that's happening. Megan's great at that, too. Uh, very cool. Uh, Grayscale, live on Studio One right now, here on WETS HD1 and 89.5 WETS FM. Uh, looks like we have a, a little uh, quartet or octet, sextet of soloists here. What, what's going on? We're going to split the group in half for just a second. This is uh, the six women in the group, and this is called The Chain. It's an Ingrid Michaelson piece that was arranged 
by Megan Clark, um, who you were just talking about singing jazz. Megan Brister. Oh, Megan Brister. I'm still not there yet. <laughs> Brister. Yeah. That's all right. She got married. All right. Absolutely wonderful. The uh, six uh, ladies of gray scale. We got six ladies, six guys. Yes, there's twelve people in this group. And uh, is there a competition for this sort of thing? Is there like uh, you know like a band competition? And uh, is there a competition for this? Uh, type actually, of there is. It's funny you should say that. We we are going for the first time. They have what's called they they have a diff, several different organizations run competitions. Um, the big one. Is if you've ever seen the Pitch Perfect movies, that's um, mm-hmm. the ICC, and that's the big, the the daddy of all acapella op- competitions. We're going to the national acapella competition, which is a little little smaller. We're getting our feet wet this year. That's uh-huh. actually in Memphis in April, last weekend in April. <laughs> going to drive out there? We are going. We're going to drive out there, so it'll be a long drive. Mm-hmm. But uh, we're excited about that. It's the first time Grace Kill has ever done a national competition. <clears throat> So uh, we, we got our fingers crossed, but I think it's going to be great. This, these guys are great. Oh, man. That's going to be fun, isn't it? Yeah. Everybody yeah. fired up for that? Yes. yes. Uh, I think you'll do great because uh, I can't imagine anything better happening out there. I guess it's all comes down to judges and how mm-hmm. the judges figure, how is this better than that, which is crazy hair-splitting stuff. But, it is. Uh, uh, anyway, well, good luck with that, and keep us posted on how that turns out. We will. Um, Okay, what are we going to do now? So we're going to do a little mashup here of a current radio hit with a 1990s wonder, and I think that's all we need to say. <laughs> and uh, again, our soloist is? Uh, Hannah Lawson. Hannah Lawson. And Mark Shelton's also singing And Mark Shelton's song. also doing yeah. that. Okay. Da, da, da. Whoa. Sexy thing I see over there 
that's me standing in the mirror what's that icy thing hanging round my neck that's gold show me some respect oh Bringing sexy back with those pants he's wearing there is uh, <laughs> Shelton. It's hard telling what Mark will wear on any given day. Yeah. I once stayed in a bed and breakfast that had wallpaper exactly <laughs> like that. But uh, very stylish, very stylish. Um, turning just a second to our, our, our keeper of the pitch, Mr. Isaiah Bishop. Now, usually I see groups and they actually have a physical pitch pipe. You know, Isaiah is a type of physical pitch pipe. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how do you do that? Don't you have to have something akin to perfect pitch to remember the pitch and then get it out so yeah. everybody is together? Yeah, that's what I have exactly. Is It's perfect pitch. And basically, I could hear a lawnmower going outside, and I could tell you what pitch it's running at. Wow. So that's how that works. So how long have and, you been afflicted with this? Um, I, well, yeah. they say you develop it around the age of five. Yeah. And a lot of people have it, and they don't know about it. But I figured it out my sophomore year of high school, and I've kind of utilized it ever since. So did you cross-check yourself with, like, a piano? Okay, all right. This um, is a, and Most people, it usually is with piano, but yeah. I actually play a lot of guitar, and that was kind of my reference instrument for it. Uh-huh. So um, I just figured out that I've knew what the pitch on the string was going to sound like before I even played it. So um, that was just something that was odd. So I asked about it and then figured out that I had perfect pitch. Give me a middle C. Da. Hey. A. A middle C. Da. B. Is he right? No, He's always so right. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Amazing. You check it, but, <laughs> but, yeah, but yeah. it's a blessing, but it's also a curse. I, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. It, it is tricky, and I say it's gifted because – you know, acapella groups, as, as hard as they may try, you know, sometimes the pitch fluctuates a little bit, but and that can drive people with perfect pitch crazy if you don't mm-hmm. stay exactly where you start. But Isaiah can really do it. It's He can really flux with the pitch. So, Yeah, I, it drives me nuts, too, to hear an instrumental uh, group or and somebody's got a string slightly out mm-hmm. of tune. Mm-hmm. And I don't have anything close to perfect pitch, probably relative pitch, but it drives me nuts until, you know, could you tune that please for me, yeah. just yeah. for me? Exactly. Um, exactly. And, uh, yeah, well, it's uh, because you're living in a world that's uh, out of tune a lot of times, <laughs> aren't All you? The time. All, All the time. time. All the time. Well, thank you. That is very interesting. Isaiah, uh, Isaiah Bishop, where yeah. are you from? 
I'm from Kingsport, Tennessee. Okay. I graduated from Dobbins Bennett. Yeah. Were you in uh, chorus there? Yeah, I was doing. I did all the choirs I basically could. I was in their a cappella group that they have now, yeah. still Armonia. Yeah, and I want to give a shout out to Jenny Rogers, the high school director there. She has incredible a cappella groups. Yes. And we saw uh, Grayscale went over there to perform for them, and we saw Isaiah, and we're like, Isaiah, come to ETSU, <laughs> and uh, we're glad he's here. Absolutely. Yeah. What are we going to hear next from Grayscale on this live session in Studio One? Uh, this is a little uh, Justin Timberlake. <coughs> Da, da, da. Da, da, da. I got to feel it inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. All through my city, all through my home. We're flying up, no ceiling when we're in our zone. Cause I got that sunshine in my pocket. Got that good soul in my feet. Got that hot blood in my body. When it drops, I can't take my eyes off of it. Moving so phenomenally. Move on like the way we rock it. So don't stop. And under the lights, when everything goes, nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close. When we move, well, you already know. Just imagine. Just imagine. Nothing I can see but you. When we dance, dance, dance. Feeling good, good creeping up on you. So just dance, dance, dance. Come on. All those things I shouldn't do. But you dance, dance, dance. And yeah, ain't nobody leaving soon. So keep dancing. Something magical. It's in the air, it's in my blood, it's rushing on. Don't need no reason, don't need control. We're flying high, no ceiling when we're in our zone. Cause I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet, got that hot blood in my body. When it drops, I can take my eyes off of it. Nothing so phenomenally, but I like the way we rock it, so don't stop. And under the lights when everything goes Nowhere to hide when I'm getting you close When we move, well, you already know So just imagine Nothing I can see but you We dance, dance, dance We're good, good creeping up on you So just dance, dance, dance Come on, all those things I should do to you forget uh, Luminosity coming up uh, Saturday, just a couple of weeks from now, Saturday, November 18th at the Cult Center uh, here at East Tennessee State University featuring Grayscale. What's that program going to be like there, Alan? Um, it's a lot of this music and then we also try and there's soloists from this group and small small group, two or three that sing together. Um, we uh, will basically just do a, it's no intermission, straight down 
it's a pretty um, pretty straightforward show, but we're real excited about it, and it puts people out there um, for the first time that haven't seen Grayscale. It's free for ETSU students, mm-hmm. so we are uh, really trying to get our name out on campus and introduce the freshmen and everyone else that hasn't seen us before. We put any uh, kind of production elements into this, like you know lights and so forth. Oh yeah, so yeah. I mean, there's lighting, there's uh, sound, obviously individual microphones, mm-hmm. and these guys also do an incredible job at staging. They do most of it themselves and. They're real creative, um, and the visual aspect of it is is really cool to watch, too. It's great to hear them, but seeing them perform is also really nice. And what time, Saturday, November 18th? 7.30 p.m. in the auditorium. Got it. All right, what are we going to do now? Um, Actually, that last song and this next song were both arranged by one of our members. So, Caitlin Hopkins, who you've heard beatboxing mostly incredibly beatboxing yeah that, that's, that sense. that's yeah. sick it's sick. Sick, sick yeah and i also i think there's kind of this perception out there when you see people beatboxing acapella groups it's usually a guy and that's why i i love having caitlin here because uh she's just gonna throw down with any guy and, and she'll she'll whoop them and she's uh visually i mean she's really into it I yeah mean, it's uh you can see the beat and, and, and the precision is just spot on. I mean, mm-hmm. rhythmically, it's incredible. Pretty neat. So uh, Can't Stop the Feeling was Caitlin's arrangement last year when she kind of hopped into it for the first time. And this next one is one she arranged for us at the beginning of this year. This is Believer, and it features Coleman Lowry on the solo. The... First, I'ma say all the words inside my head. I'm fired up and tired of the way that things have been. No, oh, the way that things have been. No, oh, second thing, second, don't you tell me what you think that I can be. I'm the one at the sale, I'm the master of my sea. Oh, the master of my sea. Oh. I was broken from a young age, taking my soul into the masses, writing my poems for the few that look at me, took at me, shook at me, feeling me, singing from heartache, from the pain, taking a message from the veins, speaking my lesson from the brain, seeing the beauty through the pain. You made me a, you made me a believer. Pain. I 
let the bullets fly, let them rain. My life, my love, my drive, it came from pain. You made me a, you made me a believer, believer. You're listening to Grayscale live on Studio One on WETS HD One and 89.5 WETS FM. Now, did everybody, um, was everybody here uh, in chorus in high school and sang in church and all of that stuff? Do we, we don't have anybody who's, you know, come to this with very little, if any, singing experience. Uh, I think we last, last year, year before, we had a couple of that... Uh, had yeah. never sang before that became part of the group. Emily Duco was uh, in the group the two, for two years, and she kind of just uh, had this freak talent <laughs> where she just showed up and started singing. But it's pretty rare that that happens just because right. we go through so much music so fast and we, and we, you know, we learn music so fast that it's really hard to jump in if you don't have much experience. This group is, is heavily auditioned um, every year. There's a lot of people that want to be here. But now these all of these students are part of a larger chorus <laughs> program at DTSU. Yeah, so yeah. there's four curricular choirs at DTSU, four classes you can enroll in. The chorale, which is our top SATB mixed uh, mm -hmm. men's and women's choir, which does more classical, traditional uh, music. Grayscale is our top pop jazz ensemble, just 12 people. And then we have the Bucksworth Men's Choir, which I direct, and the East Tennessee Bells Women's Choir, which my colleague, Dr. Matthew Potterton, directs. He also conducts the chorale. So, um, yeah, we, we've got a great program at ETSU. I'm really thrilled to be a part of it and working here. Um, the choirs are just outstanding. Yeah. Everything I've seen has just been absolutely stunning and amazing and uh, a great talent, but I... I really appreciate them. So I'm sure they do the opportunity to work together to be part of this ensemble, the friendships, camaraderie, uh, relationships that are going to be, you know, you're going to carry on for the rest of your life. Mm -hmm. uh, and just that fine tuning that ability to work with others is something that's essential in life that doesn't get nearly enough credit. Yeah, you uh, have to be able to work together. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. We have uh, time for a couple of more tunes. I. Well, this is something totally different from what we just did, but this shows off the uh, the jazz side of Grayscale. This is a jazz standard for all we know, um, and it features Megan Clark again on the solo.
beautiful, beautiful. But you guys could knock out Home for the Holidays. <laughs> oh man, just beautiful stuff. We got, we got time for two more, I think. A short one, right. and then that. Uh, now let's do this is uh, another uh, pull, drop, drop back to the '80s with another current radio hit mashup. This was arranged by Mason Barnett again. Grayscale, and I think we have time for our closer. All right. Thanks for having us here, Dave. Oh, you betcha. And I want to shout out to we're on Spotify and iTunes and Amazon and all the everything digital you can possibly think of. So uh, if you liked what you heard today, please follow us on all of those. We'd love to have you listen to our music. And it's Grayscale, G R E Y with an E. <laughs> Sing, 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 sing,
anything like that in my life <laughs> but i like it i like that a lot good luck in the competition thank you i know you're going to do well sopranos hannah lawson and rachel gardner mezzo sopranos megan brister and uh braley polson altos and on beatbox caitlin hopkins and autumn brockelman on tenors mark shelton isaiah bishop baritones will irvin and luke phillips and our bases Coleman Lowry and Trevor Henley Hen mm -hmm. Henley, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. What a wonderful group. Grayscale. And uh, thanks again for coming in. And uh, we'd like to thank our support we get from uh, Force Studio One, provided by Ed Hill at HVAC Incorporated in Bristol. HVAC offers heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and solar energy services to commercial and industrial clients in the Tri-Cities and Asheville. HVACBristol.com. Don't forget about uh, Luminosity coming up Saturday, November 18th, 730 at the Culp Center featuring Grayscale. And uh, thank you for listening to this live session in Studio One. Hope you'll be tuned in next Saturday at 1 o'clock for another live